Google Ads has an option called Enhance Conversions. It allows Google to track additional data about the person firing a conversion, things like email, name, name, um, address. Uh, this data allows Google to uh, better match a user with a conversion. This is very similar to something Facebook or Meta has called advanced matching. In this video, I want to explain how you can configure enhanced conversions with Google Ads when you use Pixel your site, what options to use, but I will also make a short comparison between Meta solution with advanced matching and Google solution with enhanced conversions. As and I will start by saying that I find Facebook solution superior. Why? Facebook allows to have both uh, things running in the same time. You can have um, advanced matching, configure a, a pixel level or tag level inside your uh, Facebook pixel settings. In this case, uh, Facebook will try to automatically track um, data about a person firing events. And in the same time, you can send data encoded with your Facebook Pixel events. So that, that sort of manual setup, um, advanced matching. They both work together. And this is a major advantage because sometimes automatic can track data, sometimes encoded um, data inside the events works better. Uh, with Google, unfortunately, you need to choose between one of, uh, of the two. You cannot run uh, automatic enhanced conversions at the same time with uh, encoded or manual configured advanced conversions. So uh, Google will not be able to track as much data as Facebook. Now, let's see how you can use enhanced conversions with Pixel Your Site. Um, first of all, in order to have the Google Ads tag installed on your website, you need to add the Google Ads tag ID right here. And under this field, you have this option, enable enhanced conversions. Turn it on and save. Now, with Google, you need to configure conversions inside your Google Ads Manager. So I'm not sure it's called Ads Manager. Anyway, here go to tools, conversions, and I will show you how to configure a conversion from zero. This example conversion will, will track purchase events from WooCommerce. So basically WooCommerce transactions. Uh, let me go back to Pixel Your Site, click on the WooCommerce page. And right here you have the events fired by the plugin for WooCommerce. Here we have purchases. And these are the options for Google Ads tag. To transform this normal purchase event into a conversion, you need to add a label here, a conversion label here. The conversion label will be generated by Google. Um, Maybe you already have this, so maybe you want to skip this part, but I want to explain how uh, tracking conversions works from um, A to Z, so from zero to, I don't know, the, the, to 10. Okay, so add new conversion, website. This one will be a purchase, give it a name. Uh, use different values, select the currency. Where is, okay, US dollar. You have some more options, create and continue. Now, this is the part I was talking about, enhanced conversion. Turn on, select this option, click next, Add your site, click check URL, and you will see this warning. Why is that? We 
use JavaScript to add some parts of the code because we need this to be able to do some of the things that we do like GDPR stuff or track some dynamic data. Anyway, Google does a very simple search. They just look in the page source. They don't find everything they want to find because some of it is um, fired using JavaScript. So they will show you this uh, warning. No problem, the tag is there. Select manually, click on that link, global site tag, next. And this is the key thing. You need to select between automatic setup and edit code. My recommendation is to use automatic setup for all conversions except the ones related to WooCommerce or easy digital downloads transactions. Why? Uh, it's very simple. For WooCommerce and easy digital download transactions or purchase events, we are able to know the client's data, like their name, their email address, everything. So in this case, we are always able to send encoded enhanced conversions data. In this case, select edit code. For all the other events, like uh, events uh, for, for WooCommerce that are not purchases, or other events that you want to uh, use as conversions from, for example, from here, from our uh, events page, where you can create an event and add a conversion label when you enable Google Ads, right here. Well, for those events, select automatic setup because chances are we'll not be able to know uh, data, details about the person firing that event. We can track this data when the person is logged in, but this is usually not the case. So for WooCommerce purchases, select edit code. In my case, it's a WooCommerce purchase event, so I will select edit, edit code and save. Now, the last thing, I need the conversion label. Click on use Google Tag Manager. We are not using Google Tag Manager, but it's easier to find the conversion label and copy the conversion label from here. Go back, add the conversion label and save. Okay. Now, every time we fire a purchase event for WooCommerce, we will send the conversion label and Google will know that this is a conversion and we will send enhanced uh, conversion data, basically extra information about the person firing this purchase event about your client. So this is how you can uh, create a new conversion and uh, enable enhanced conversions. Uh, if, okay, you can click next, done, and that's it. If you already have a, um, a conversion and you want to enable enhanced conversions, edit the conversion, go and uh, open it, go here and do the same process. So this is everything you need to know. The key thing is to use automatic if the conversion is not related to WooCommerce or easy digital downloads transactions and to use the edit code options for uh, conversions that are fired for WooCommerce and easy digital, digital download uh, transactions or purchases. This is it. Uh, I hope it's not that complicated. <laughs> I think it is. Uh, anyways, I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Your Site. I invite you to watch more videos on our channel. And of course, like and uh, share, subscribe this video. Thank you.